Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is extremely exciting. It's all about Windows 8. There's lots of things we love about Windows 8. We love the fast boot times. We love the low system requirements. We love the Windows 8 UI that's actually very customizable. Personally, I like it because you can take things, you can organize them, you can sort them out, you can zoom out, all kinds of good stuff. We love fast sleep and wake. We love the new task manager, which gives us all kinds of cool diagnostics. We love file copies. You can pause them now. They actually tell you what speed it's going at, and it's a realistic representation. I mean, how did that take so long? The thing we don't like is that when we go to our classic desktop mode, we oh yeah, we like that besides the Windows 8 UI, we have classic desktop mode. The thing we don't like is where's the start menu? Today's NCIX Tech Tips, we're going to show you how, in a few simple steps, you can add the start menu back to Windows 8. So how does this voodoo magic happen, Linus, you might ask? To which I would reply, good question, sir, or ma'am. Although I think we know that if you're watching this channel, the odds of it being ma'am are fairly low, but that's okay. I'm a big fan of 9.8. If you've been watching for a while, you already know that. 9.8 is basically a simple way for you to go, oh yeah, I like, uh, I like Chrome and Firefox and Skype and AIM. Who uses AOL Instant Messenger anymore? Nah, I'm just messing with you because Slick's over there. I know he uses it. Uh, you know, I want Flash, I want Picasa, I want GIMP. All kinds of awesome stuff is in this thing where you can create your own custom downloading installer that allows you to basically download and install a whole bunch of stuff all at the same time, all very easily, and without any bloatware. So 9.8 has recently added a Windows 8 start menu option. There's lots of different options, but because I love 9.8 so huggy much, I really wanted to sort of point more people at this website while I download and install my 9.8 Windows 8 classic start menu installer. All I have to do is run the setup. It will download the latest version of this start menu adder or anything else that I select. They'll always grab the latest version and download it all into a nice tidy little file that then installs it all and guides you through all the prompts and all that good stuff. And then there's a little thing where you can share 9.8, but I'm already doing that. so. There you have it. The start menu is there. But Linus, you might say, that's a very basic looking start menu. I prefer the Windows XP start menu experience, to which I would reply, there's usually a reason why 9.8 chooses a particular application for a particular need, because it's usually just friggin' awesome. So it's as simple as clicking Windows XP, yes, and boom. Windows XP style start menu, even down to the theme at the top. Very, very nice. But you go, okay, well, maybe I'd prefer Windows Vista, Windows 7 one, and boom. Windows Vista, Windows 7 style, you got your apps, you got your programs, you can pin stuff here. Uh, the one thing that seems to be missing from this one is that games dedicated thing, which was kind of cool, but now that we all use Steam anyway, I think it's not that relevant. Um, however, Check this out. So there's a bunch of other things you can change. Basic settings like how long the delays are for when you mouse over something. Um, skip metro screen, enable start button. Okay, these, I, I'm assuming you would leave those checked. Uh, Windows key opens. You can change what your Windows key actually does, whether it's classic start menu, Windows start screen, or uh, start menu and desktop, and start screen and metro, which is probably about right. That's what I would want it to do. So I'm, I'm going to change it to that since this is a machine we actually use from time to time. And you can change your skin as well. Now get this, there's way more. Basic settings and all settings. All kinds of crazy stuff. What your context menu brings up, that's your right click. What kind of sounds come up when you do different stuff. You can customize it, what's actually in there. Windows 8 settings, skip, okay, yeah, that we've seen already. Languages, you can change the language in there. Skins, search box, what does it do? Where does it search? Does it search control panel? Does it search everywhere? General behavior, all these different, do you want it to fade, slide, no animation. You can change exactly the way you want it to work and exactly everything you want to get the start menu experience you want with the new Windows 8 experience that has all that great stuff I mentioned before and as well as things like storage spaces for better storage on your system and just generally being a newer OS that'll get much longer support from Microsoft compared to older last generation OSs. Guys, it never makes sense to buy a last generation OS when the new one is out. 
It's a longer support cycle. You want to get Windows 8. If the thing holding you back is the start menu, I think you've seen now, we not only have a start menu on Windows 8, see this? Start menu, pressing the start button. We have a start menu that I think is significantly more flexible than the one we had on Windows 7 built in. Thanks for watching this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can configure everything about this, how the menu looks, how, what the width is like, what the submenu width is like, the menu caption, the username text, small icon size, large icon size, general behavior, delay multiplier for split buttons, info tip delay, okay. menu Sorry. delay. Sorry, forgot focus wasn't on auto. So when I zoomed into the screen, I was like, why the f*** isn't doing anything? Oh, so we have to reshoot the whole thing? My bad. Oh, okay.